Hello everybody, welcome back to my first video for the autumn season. I'm so, so, so excited to be back today. I've been filming away probably for the last month on little autumn crafts and everything like that. I've held off until now, which is September 1st, just so that I could share them with you because I really wanted to like bring them right at the autumn kind of time for me. I feel like right now I'm in the autumn Halloween-y kind of spirit. I've got my orange nails on, I'm ready to get cracking. So it's time to get posting the craft videos. There may be some come shop with me as hauls, uh, which are short videos that sort of thing come in as well um i don't know we're just going to see where it takes us if there's anything in particular that you would like to see then definitely leave them down in the comments down below i always read every single word i usually reply to every single comment that i get so yeah definitely take advantage of that if there's something that you want to see but for today's video like i said it is the first one back in a while and it is a craft one and i wanted to share a quick and easy craft with you um i say quick and easy this actually took me ages to make all of these um but i made them whilst i was just sat back watching watching Gilmore Girls and living my best autumn autumn life, you know? And yeah, I made these little mini pumpkins. Well, I'm actually going to calling these micro pumpkins because they are so small. But I just love them. And like I said, I've made loads. So I'll show you what I'm going to really be doing with these after this tutorial part. I did pre-film this, like I said. So that is all ready to go. I'm so excited. So you'll notice a change in nails. I will leave this exact color down in the description because I know there will be some questions. If you do end up making this, then please do tag on Instagram. That'll be down in the description as well. Just a click through link. It's just Chelsea Bow quite simple um, if you want to look it up but yeah thank you so much for joining me on today's video i'm going to show you how i made these little boys okay so obviously to start off with these fabric pumpkins you're going to need some fabric the fabric that i'm using are just these like little scraps from previous projects that i had left over it's just a really great way to use up any fabric scraps that you have you can use any colors of course any patterns that you wish to the pieces that i'm using right here are 10 centimeters by five centimeters so when you fold them in half you're going to have a five centimeter square now what i did was I took the raw edges and I just kind of sewed down at that one side to kind of secure that rectangle into the square shape basically just like creating a loop of fabric I made loads of these so I just kind of started sewing them in quick succession from each other and just like cut afterwards but I did make sure to backstitch at the kind of start and finish of each pumpkin so that when you turn them around they don't come undone so when you're making this just make sure that you backstitch at the start backstitch at the finish like you should be doing on all stitching really. If you don't have a sewing machine, you can of course just hand stitch this down. You just wanna do a nice straight stitch down just to create a nice loop of fabric. Once you have done that and you've got your piece, you then want to secure some thread to one side. I start kind of like at that kind of like, you know, hem bit. And then I just kind of tacked all the way around, making sure that obviously the first stitch was really fully secure. Then I'm able to pull the thread through, making like a, almost like a little slip stitch. And this kind of keeps it all like gathered in place. I just secure that down like so, creating two knots to make sure it's not going to be undoing or going anywhere. And once that is done, I'm able to cut my thread off and then turn the kind of like fabric inside out so that it almost makes like a little mini fabric bag with like a ruched little bottom kind of bottom bit <laughs> Okay, so once I have that little kind of bag shape, you're gonna to want to stuff this. I just use polyfill stuffing. You can just use any old toy stuffing, any old pillow stuffing. I tend to use toy stuffing that you get from like hobby crafter stuff. I have this on hand just because I make a lot of stuff for my online store. I have a lot of this just kicking around, but like I said, you can just use like old pillows. Anything like that will work fine. To make the stalks of the pumpkins, I actually just use some little sticks that I had from my garden. I actually just went out there just like underneath the bushes and picked out some dry kind of sticks and that worked out nice. I used these wire cutters, which I actually got from Hobbycraft. These cut through perfectly. They're just ones from the value range, right? I think they're like four or five pounds, something like that, but they are so good. I've had them for a couple of years now and they are still going on strong. Anyway, so once you've got your little kind of fabric bag sorted, you've got your stick to the side because we're gonna need that in a minute. You're going to then want to do the same thing that we did on the bottom with that slip stitch, just kind of securing your thread on the kind of hem bit again, tacking it all the way around and then just pulling it tight. As you're pulling the thread tight, you're going to want to just hold that as securely as you can in your hand. I'm just using that in my left hand as you can see here. And I'm poking in the edges of the raw fabric just in and around that slip stitch so that all the raw edges are going inside of the mini pumpkin. I'm pulling it, poking those hems in again and all those raw edges in and just like holding it in place. Once I had it kind of all secure, all nice and tight, all the raw edges were inside, I just took 
one of the sticks that we prepared earlier I took some hot glue just hot glued that and stuck that in between making sure to pull the thread tight around that so that it kind of like all encapsulated in the hot glue so the hot glue helped keep it in place the thread helped keep that in place and it all just helped each other whilst the hot glue was set in as you can see here I'm putting in a few more kind of like um, little stitches to keep all of that tacking down into place and then once I was happy with how strong that was and I was sure that everything was in place I then put a few kind of knots in just to make sure that the thread wasn't going anywhere once you're done there you're kind of left with like almost like a little fabric apple that's kind of really cool for this time of year you can make like a little apple cider decoration or something like that but in order to make this a little less apple-y a little bit more pumpkin-y we need to put those like pumpkin segments into it to do this you just want to create a knot with your thread and then just wrap it around the pumpkin thread it through and just make sure to pull it tight again so that the kind of fabric all kind of ruches and gathers up just the same way that you're going to make any other sized kind of pumpkin fabric pumpkins it's really simple really you just want to make that thread just go around and gather up the fabric and just pull in tight kind of all that polyfill inside now this is where you can kind of feel like you can go wrong sometimes it may seem that you've like not put enough polyfill in you've put too much in like it might become a bit too solid it might become like a bit too gathered if you find you have too many like kind of like folds and pleats and stuff in the fabric it's all looking a bit like uh, a bit drab then maybe you need to add in some more filling if you find it's a bit too solid to be able to do this and your thread might be breaking it might be either you need a stronger thread or it might be the fact that you just need a little bit less polyfill the thread that I'm using is the, um, is it Guterman? Fab Guterman brand. That's the one I tend to use. Um, I find that's a lot stronger than some of the other kind of brand ones. But yeah, that's the one I buy from my haberdashery. Anyway, so once all of those segments are in place, you want to tie off your thread like before, just doing a couple of knots. And then again, taking the wire cutters, I just snipped down the kind of twig at the top so that it wasn't so apple-y <laughs> again. To add the final touch and to cover up any of the stitches or any little bits of like hot glue and stuff that might be already on there, I just used some raffia. I just cut this down this was actually from poundland a long 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 time ago and i just kind of wrap a little kind of bunch of them around just tying it round into knots on one side on the other side wrapping it tying it down and then i just trimmed this down into place i think this adds a nice little kind of like rustic touch adds a little bit of like nice naturalness to the fact that they are fabric pumpkins and yeah it covers up all those little details as well so once that is done your micro fabric pumpkin will then be complete Oh, okay. So now that you've watched the tutorial, you'll see how I made them. I actually timed myself making one of these individually. It took me 20 minutes, which sounds a bit ridiculous because like this here is an hour's work just for three of them. Um, but like I said, I put Gilmore Girls on. I just started sewing away. Very, very, very happy with them. I've basically just done um, some little kind of tartany check ones. I've done some like brown rusty color. I've done um, this like burnt, like kind of orange shade, very similar to my nails. Very similar indeed. Then I did this little kind of one, just out of some scrap fabrics where I've made fabric pumpkins and stuff before for my store. And then this one here looks like a little micro kind of floral pattern. Really, really, really like this. I'll see if I can show you this a little bit closer. There, do you see that? How lovely is that? I think that's so cute. Like I said, I've done the little sticks in the top, just cut them down a little bit. Then the little bit of like hessian kind of raffia stuff on there looks really, really nice. But together, the kind of mix looks, oh, I can't, I can't show you at this angle. I'm so out of <laughs> sync with YouTube. But yeah, really, really love them. So my idea, the way I'm gonna be styling these is either by putting them in the jar, like this one here, it needs a little bit of a clean out, which is why I haven't done it yet. This is my, ghost in a jar DIY last year and I think that would be really cute just sat on the countertop you could even like um put another kind of like glass container in here have some flowers and stuff sticking out and then these like all around it just a little bit of an alternative to like sweets and stuff like that you could also run a needle through with some thread on make these into a little garland that would be adorable you could put them out in like a nice wooden bowl I do have one over there by the um, mirror, which I usually tend to put bowl filler and stuff like that in. Oh, I just had another idea. You could put some thread in, thread it through, put a little loop on it, have a little hanging decoration or a twig tree. 
that would be cute, wouldn't it? So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for joining me here again. Thank you just for being here in general. Joining me is so grateful if you've had any amazing autumn buys you've seen anything out and about any halloween stuff i'm really into the halloween this year um definitely do let me know got a little bit of fluff on my face um i would love to hear back from you if you've got any kind of plans for the next month or so i'd love to hear about that as well so yeah thank you so so much for being here today and i will see you for another video bye